Welcome back folks for a new episode of Leet. And today we're going to cover the tier 10 replacement for the FV4202. It is the Action X Centurion. I waited a long time for this. But why the switch? Well the FV4202 is not historically correct because in real life this vehicle had only a 20 pounder gun with only 50 millimeters of frontal plate armor. So it's not that well armored. It's more suited to a tier 8 position than as a tier 10. So what is an Action X Centurion? Well it is a Centurion tank modified with a special turret. This turret has more sloping than the normal turret as you can see right here. Has better armor and the turret has a smaller mantlet which gives a better gun depression. So here is the Action X program the special turret that comes with it. And here is the Action X Centurion modified with the special turret. It's more aerodynamic than the bulky turret. You already know. So this vehicle will switch out the FE4202 at tier 10. And yet this vehicle actually predates the FE4202 because it's an initial program. And they took the turret and put on the FE4202 when they want to find a new main battle tank-esque that replaced the Centurion, which never happened. Later on, they took the same ideas and took some lessons learned from modifying the turret and placed it on the FV4201, the Chieftain right here. So let's not wait any longer. Here is the Action X Centurion. And here are some early models of the Action X Centurion compared with the FV4202. Now this vehicle has the same hull armor as the Centurion 7-1. Whereas the FE4202 has a different hull armor, so it has 5 pair of road wheels, whereas the Centurion 71 has 6 pairs, and thusly the Action X Centurion is slightly bigger than the FE4202. Not that much, just slightly. The turret size is almost the same, the only difference is the change in the cupola and the position of the few hatches on top, but not that big of a deal. Here is a very good shot of the thermal sleeve on the gun barrel. And what this does is it prevents thermal expansion that warps the gun barrel and lose accuracy for the L7A1 Royal Ordnance. So it's kind of neat that this is the first tank we have with the gun barrel thermal sleeve. Here is a side by side shot between these two tanks. It looks like the turret is slightly bigger on the Action X Centurion, but remember, this is not textured yet, so there might be like two boxes or space armor that looks like it's part of the turret, where it's not. So don't make some final judgments just yet. It appears the gun barrel looks slightly longer on the Action X. That's probably due to the bore evacuator, it's the fume extractor right here. But yeah, it's mostly the same size if you take in the fact that these two mantlets have about one centimeter in difference so yeah, it's about the same size but this gun looks slightly longer small detail <laughs> but yeah it's about the same size so nothing to worry about here are the collision models for the action x centurion as well as the early renders now this vehicle is not black i wish it was but this is not a textured yet model so it looks like it's black but it's not That'd be amazing if it's black. It'd be like a Batmobile or a Knight Rider. That'd be amazing. So here is a collision model for the Action X Centurion. Now the hull armor is the same as the Centurion 7-1. So you can go into Tank Inspector and just look up Centurion 7-1's hull armor and make calls on where to angle and how to bounce. But you have a track link added to the frontal plate to give it a little bit more protection, but the Centurion 71 will not bounce a lot of shots because I played it and the hull armor is alright from the frontal plate. You could bounce a few shots from the upper glacis if you manage to angle it a little bit but it's not that reliable as opposed to the FE4202 where it's slope super high or super steep on the FE4202. But the, uh, the armor is alright. It has the side skirts to protect the side armor. But the side armor is only 51 millimeters, so yeah, it's not that good. The turret looks a little bit weaker than the current FE4202. That's because the top of the turret looks like 90 millimeters, 
whereas the old turret has about 120 or so. So this is weaker. And the sloping is the same, about 30-ish degrees. So we can take a look with 30 at, oops, I forget, 90 at 30 degrees. So that's about the sloping. Or we can go 25 if you're generous. Oh, that's a little bit too steep. Yeah, that's too steep. 30. <laughs> so the armor thickness is about 180-ish millimeters normal. And you could bounce a few shots if you're just like this, but if you go haul down and point the gun downwards, it's an automatic bounce if they hit the top of the turret. So the turret armor is not as good as the current FE4202. Here is the ass shot. Now it has only like 30 millimeters on the rear, so this vehicle could only rely on the frontal armor. The side and rear is not that well protected. So it's a medium tank, what did you expect? It's not Russian also. And here are the main stats for the new Action X Centurion. It's a tier 10 British medium tank, has 1950 health, the same with the FE4202. Engine power is 1040 which is pretty good, weighs 55 tons, which is 15 tons heavier. So this vehicle has 18.9 horsepower per ton ratio, which is quite decent, but the current FE4202 has about 20-ish. So it's a slightly downgrade. Top speed is 53 kilometers per hour. That's very fast. 20 for reverse, pretty good. Hull traverse is 50 degrees per second. Turn traverse is 50.1 degrees per second. This thing turns so quick. Terrain resistance is 0.57 for hard, 0.67 for medium, and 1.4 for soft. Supreme, that's very good. That's supremely good for this big of a tank. View range is 410 meters, very good. Radio range is 780, very good. Hull armor is 120-ish at the front, 50-ish at the sides, and 31 at the rear. The same with the Centurion 71. Turret armor is about 200 at the front, 150 at the sides, and 150 at the rear. So, almost the same as the current FE4202. Now the gun is the L7 Royal Ordnance, 105mm. Has a crazy penetration with the APCR shell, that's 268. Now they switch out the gold shell for the FE4202 with this vehicle. So originally it was the APCR, then the gold hash shell or high explosive shell and the normal high explosive shell. This time around they give it heat shells which has 330 millimeters penetration. So that's very nice but you lose out on using the gold hash shells with 200 millimeters of penetration and 500 damage, 480 ish. So that kind of sucks but oh well. Rate of fire is 7.27 rounds per minute. DPM is crazy high, 3,200 with a gun rammer, so that's very good. Reloads every 7.4 seconds with a gun rammer and vents. I have the FE4202. Accuracy is very good, 0 0.307. Supremely laser-like. Aim time is 2 seconds, which is very good. Depression is 10 degrees. Gun elevation is 20 degrees. So this vehicle looks very good. Fast have some armor to balance a few shots. Now they nerfed the accuracy on the move a little bit than the MP4202. That's quite all right. So you might think that this gun is crazy good based on the DPM, the penetration, the accuracy, and the aim time. Now, if you don't have a FE4202, this looks pretty goddamn amazing. But I have a FE4202 and this is exactly the same stat as the current FP4202. So, sorry to burst your bubble, but yeah, it's the same gun. The only difference I can tell is that they changed the hull, as well as the mobility of the tank. The FP4202 has a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour, whereas this vehicle has 53. That's very fast. It turns a lot faster too, at 50 degrees per second, and a very good terrain resistance. So this vehicle is better shifting than the FE4202. And let's take a better comparison right now with the old FE4202. And let's compare the Action X Centurion with the FE4202. 
So we'll start out with the armor first. As you can see, the roof armor on the turret of the FE4202 is thicker than the Action X. So about 250-ish millimeters effective. Whereas on the Action X in turn, it's about 200 millimeters sloped backwards. So the turret is stronger on the FE. The hull armor is also stronger because it's better sloped. About 220 millimeters effective. Whereas on the Action X Centurion, you have the same hull armor as the Centurion 71 to give you 180 ish. So the armor is better on the FE4202. But the trade off is that the Action X Centurion is faster than the FE4202. So let's take a look at the other stats. We'll compare the gun first because the gun is relatively the same. So the penetration, damage, DPM, all the same. Accuracy is the same as well as aim time, but accuracy on the move is slightly nerfed on the Action X Centurion. Now, the main difference is the accuracy on the move as well as the gold shell. So it can use heat shells on the Action X, whereas on the FE4202, you use the Hesh shell, which do a lot of damage, but has lower penetration. So you cannot penetrate stuff like the E100 or mouse if you're using APCR at some angles. But yeah, that's the main weak spot about the FE4202 is the crappy gold shell. And the main difference other than the armor is the mobility. So let's take a look. The Action X Centurion has 18.91 horsepower per ton ratio, whereas on the FE4202, it's 20.25. So you might think that the Action X Centurion is slower to rev up, but take a closer look and you can see that the terrain resistance is better on the Action X Centurion. So this will mitigate the lower horsepower per ton ratio. So that's quite good. Top speed is way faster, 53 kilometers per hour, as opposed to the 40 on the FE4202. Turret traverse is also way faster by almost 10 degrees. So that's crazy. View range is the same, radio range is the same. So this vehicle is heavier and moves faster than the FE4202. So the main difference between these two vehicles is that the FE4202 is more armor oriented, whereas the Action X Centurion is more mobility oriented. So that's the main difference. And the final opinion about the Action X Centurion is that this vehicle is absolutely crazy. It's insanely good. The gun is already amazing on the FE4202, but the drawbacks for that vehicle is the mobility. The armor is alright, you could bounce a few shots, but it's not as reliable as the Russians. So the mobility of the FE4202 is the main drawback. Whereas for this vehicle, it trades most of the armor, or some of the armor, they still have a few, but for crazy mobility, 53 km per hour top speed, crazy traverse of 50 degrees per second on both turret and hull, great terrain resistance, great view range, so this vehicle is absolutely amazing if you know how to play medium tank snipers well. So this tank is better than the AMX-30B in my opinion, and the STB-1. It's obviously better than the M48 Patton, so this vehicle could rival the Leopard 1. Is it better than the Leopard 1? It's better than the E50M, for sure. Leopard 1, yeah, it has more armor than the Leopard 1, but the Leopard 1 is faster. But in my opinion, this has almost all the better traits and none of the drawbacks, other than shooting on the move, but that's yet to be tested. So that's crazy good of a vehicle. And I hope you already have a FE4202 at tier 10 when they switch this vehicle out. And there were hints that you might get a mission base for the Action X Centurion that you can get the free FE4202 at tier 8. So hopefully you get two free tanks for the price of one. But yeah, this vehicle is worth it. Now, there were hints and rumors that the Action X Centurion will be released in the 9.11 patch. There were also rumors that this tank will be released for the 9.10 test server to be tested and if the results were positive, it will be released for the 9.11 patch, but I'm skeptical. So they just released 
they probably will release the Japanese heavy tanks in the 9.10 patch. They probably will release like bug fixes for the 9.11 patch and probably switch out the FE4202 and the FE215B for the 9.12 patch. So that's what I am predicting. But yeah, it might come sooner than that. So hopefully it does. But this tank is absolutely amazing. So yeah, I can't wait. Now, before we go, I'll show you all the pictures for the FE4201 Chieftain. Welcome back folks for a new episode of Leet, and today we're going to cover the tier 10 replacement for the FV4202. It is the Action X Centurion. I waited a long time for this, but why the switch? Well, the FV4202 is not historically correct because in real life, this vehicle had only a 20 pounder gun with only 50 millimeters of frontal plate armor. So it's not that well armored. It's more suited to a tier 8 position than as a tier 10. So what is an Action X Centurion? Well, it is a Centurion tank modified with a special turret. This turret has more sloping than the normal turret, as you can see right here, has better armor. And the turret has a smaller mantlet, which gives a better gun depression. So here is the Action X program, the special turret that comes with it. And here is the Action X Centurion modified with a special turret. It's more aerodynamic than the bulky turret, you already know. So this vehicle will switch out the FE4202 at tier 10. And yet, this vehicle actually predates the FE4202 because it's an initial program.